then he was standing there as like protection for the second man, which the ball should have gone back to Taylor. What a great tackle there by Steve Trindle. Terrific tackle by Trindle on Lincoln Rodonicus. Just resented a little Rodonicus too. I think Coxon making the tackle on him. Fairly. Getting the pass back, it came away from Larson. Then to Jason Taylor. Taylor slipping through, got his pass, back through Soden, then away to Fairley. Uh, Fairley getting down the short side. No defence from Western Suburbs at all. The moment that David Fairley was through the line, there was no cover, nothing inside of him, but just green grass. David Fairley scores the first try and a very easy one for North Sydney, and the Bears lead by 4-0. Oh, really, the defence from Western Suburbs was a little bit ordinary then. Scott Coxon tried in vain to try and put Fairley down, but this is the start of the movement. When they started to get the ball back, once it would come off Fairley again, Jason Taylor steps off his right foot there, ducks under a couple of would-be tackles there. Adrian Rainey was one of the men that one of the men that didn't miss him, but watch Big Fairley put out the right duke there. See you later, Scott Coxon. Races over the try line. Very good start to North Sydney. But you have to give credit to David Fairley because he was involved initially with this one-handed pass to keep the move. Butner playing at 5'8 today, Michael Butner. He's 15 metres out from the line. They come to the short side to Gary Larson striding straight through. Able to unload back to Brett Dallas. Dallas scrambles his way over and scores. <laughs> 8 0 in favour of the Bears. A kick to come. And unless West's defence improves and improves dramatically, they are in for a hiding. Well, it's really going back to 98 style of football. The more ball you have, the more tries you are going to come up with. But the big Gar fella, Gary Larson, going straight to the middle. Again, Tackler's going too low. Just getting on the outside of his man there. Of course, the little man, Dallas. Tremendous try there. It all comes down, doesn't it, to just making sure that you shut this ball down. Brett Wharton was entitled to make sure that Larson didn't unload that. Dallas did a great job to get in and away, but Gary, I think you've summed it up. Back from the line, Sears. North's lead by 8 to nil over the Magpies. Jason Taylor switched back on the inside to Steve Trindle. Trindle looking for a runner coming off him. Wasn't there. Put to ground in the, the tackle of Wharton and McGuinness. Back on the inside, Ben Eichen just shooting his way through the defence again just not coming across in numbers simply didn't lay it up in defence the magpies and the easiest of gaps for ben Aiken to go through and score well I was, if i was the fullback brett ward i would be absolutely blown up by fords on the right hand side there he's come up with a try saving tackle underneath the post there on trindle and how about easy this is again not covering the ball up allowing Aiken to go for an easy try Gary created again too. I mean, Michael Butner needs credit on this. That was great work. He called it. He knew, knew what was going on out that side. The great unload from Billy Moore. But once again, as you said, it's just a matter of twelve and a half minutes, and we're having it for about six minutes, half the time. David Fairley. Eight short of halfway. Fairley to play it. Now to Morrison, who's off the interchange bench and straight through goes Morrison. He's got Petherbridge coming up on the inside. Short pass to him. And a whale race and score underneath the post, Scott Petherbridge. So the blonde bombshells for North Sydney create the try. Glenn Morrison, who's only been on the field for a couple of minutes off the interchange bench. The first time he touches the ball, he splits Wests. And Petherbridge comes off the wing in support to score. Oh, well, that was a tackle that should have been made on Morrison. As you said, he's only been on the field for a short time, but really just taking up the short time. Plenty of players there. Darren Fritz coming up with a missed tackle to Nick Edwards coming up. Great work by Scotty Petheridge there to get back inside, but look at the pace the kid. One step, two steps, see you later, alligator, straight underneath the black dot. Very good try from the winger. Have a look at this, Gary. What have we got? Three players. One that they just palmed straight out of Adam Rainey, but you know. I think the, the most important and most impressive part of that was Scott Petherbridge positioning himself absolutely superb on the inside. 20 points to nil it is in favour of the Bears. This is Lation. Tackle made on him by Shane McMenemy. It's for Norse to attack long pass from Taylor to pick up Butner coming into the line. Almost got through as well. Quickly back now to Morrison. One tackle left for Norths in this set. 21 metres out. Taylor 
takes it to the line, then uses the kick. Oh. And lost. Yeah. Yeah. The easiest of tries for Brett Dallas. Lost by Brett Wharton. Standing back on his own line. He had the ball. The bounce was favourable for him and simply just popped out of his grasp. But Brett Dallas said thanks very much. And Jason Taylor going to the line, but I thought this kid, he'd been the best player for Western Suburbs. Had the ball out in front and just the, the slipperiness of the ball, and I don't know how it is, maybe someone put some water on it, but a little bit unlucky because, as I said, I think he's been one of their best. He did very well to cover that kick too. He's beautifully positioned for it, Gary. I mean, that's just bad luck. I mean, you can't knock a kid for that. Oh, mate, you can see me with halfway. David Feely again stepping out of some weak defence. Had support on the outside in Petherbridge, couldn't get the pass to him. Petherbridge goes from dummy half, now in the hands of Taylor. He dummies to Butner, sees a little gap, then through the pass, which had Butner taken it, he would have been under the post. Oh, once again, it's the defence. It's, it's looking a little bit ragged out there for Western Suburbs. I really got to get back. George Arliss almost threw a gap. At the last moment, he was claimed in the tackle of uh, Gary Larson. Now back to Hodgson. Ball and all tackle, David Feely. Mesha, two metres up from the line. Travis Baker. Oh, Baker shows a great pass and was able to slip it beautifully away to pick up Lincoln Radonikas, who'll score the first try of the game. Set up by Travis Baker. Only just joined the club in the last couple of weeks from East in Brisbane. Very good ball player, Travis Baker. That's very well done. The North Sydney side, they, were, they had plenty of numbers there on Western Summers, but the kid just goes to the line, watch how he holds it up, put a little step in it away. And of course, Matt Sears, he didn't take anyone. He was just standing there. I think he's having a little bit of a holiday. I think Mickey Butner's has come in again too, Gary. And last week we saw the same thing with Mick Butner was, was caught out with numbers on that uh, fringe, but North Sydney, that they should be in front by this amount of points. So West's again. Just doing well on unloading back to Mesher and then away to Travis Baker. Baker stepping through, got through one oh, tackle, oh. then a lovely pass to Daryl Fisher. Fisher down the sideline, gets to Wyman, oh. who takes him front on. Oh. Great tackle coming in to help him, Steve Trindle. But good defence by Ben Eichen, a player who is carrying an injury. Now away to McGuinness. Ken McGuinness getting through. Had the pass gone to a player just from the line. Oh, I love it. Well, he just had to wait for that ball for a moment, Taylor, and the moment he got it, he was smashed by Cherry Mesher, but Mesher's come off second best. <laughs> and immediately, Norths go out to the uh, the long side, trying to stretch the West's defence, and Michael Butner tackled. Mesher's still down in back play, so they're a man short in their defensive line, the Magpies. Now across field to Lation. You know, look at this, where the, this is the tackle here, bang. I don't know where he hits himself. ...of uh, West's. I think it's exactly what Tom Rodonik has had to say to, uh, to the troops at the halftime. Fritz. Hard run by Fritz. Picks up 12 metres. George Jarvis showing it to the outside. Then step back into trouble. Fairly coming in over the top. Underneath was Trindle. This is Hodgson. In traffic, Brett Hodgson. Now, he was knocked over late, but it was picked up by Weston. It's play on, says the referee, and it comes back to Kevin McGuinness. McGuinness able to sneak his pass away to Rodonikas. Rodonikas does well to give it to Wharton. He's chased by Eichen, but he'll go in and score. That will make him feel happier, Brett Wharton, because he gave away a try in the first half with a drop ball, a simple try to Brett Dallas. He'll feel a lot better now, Wharton, having got around Eichen to score that try in the corner. Oh, he did a great job there, Wharton, to get that try over the corner. But i tell you what, you're going to take your hat off to their front row, or second row, Rodonikas. But the little Hodgson, little chip there, the penalty was going to be given, but this pass here by Rodonikas, that was a mile forward. But the best thing about the McGinnis boys, they kept the ball alive, and Rodonikas once again being involved throws the ball out there to Wharton showed good pace to get around Eichen not many players will do that very good try to the young bloke to bounce back excellent try and give the referee Sean Hampstead a wrap here he was going to blow the whistle then realized he'll play advantage you can see he almost had the whistle to his mouth to blow it and then said no we'll let the advantage go 
good refereeing and the try results. Yeah, once again, it was Travis Baker and Kevin McGuinness in there. Going to give Baker a wrap once again. This kid showed some good pace. He's had a very good game. Oh, do it! Taylor himself, of course, a former Magpie. Oh. 86 games for the Magpies and his 114th game, consecutive game for North Sydney, bringing up his 200 today. A great survivor he's been in the game of rugby league, Jason Taylor. Amazing to go 114 games, a player not as big as, uh, as other two, players who's these, got 114 without losing one. These two players are really at each other's throats now. Wood. The crowd knew it. Everybody but the referee and touch judge <laughs> knew it. Spun wide again. This is Cotter. Now the last on its way for the Magpies. Hodgson goes a few metres and runs it on the last and then is able to switch it back to Ken McGuinness. McGuinness kicks. Oh. Coming through is Daryl Fisher after it. Fisher dives on the ball. Referee Sean Hampstead will consult with the touch judge and rule the try. Fair try. I thought he may have wanted to go to the video referee, but he didn't. The touch judge had absolutely no doubts it was a fair try and well done. McGuinness setting it up and the try scored by Daryl Fisher. Oh, it's great work there by Hodgson, the little halfback. He went to the line. Just watch him go to the line. He starts going across. No one from North City's moved up the middle. Tremendous work there by Kim McGuinness. And then he sees little Daryl Fisher out on the wing all by himself. Gets the ball, plants it down. Fair try to Western Summers. They are back in this game at 28 to 14. Slack inside defence there too. Dave Fairley, I think he thought he was going to kick this ball. It was a great slide of hands and a magnificent pass in. McGuinness did very, very well to pick up the man on that wing. But uh, again, Dave Fairley, a little bit lazy on the inside. And Norse have got themselves to blame for this. I think their last tackle options have been very, very poor and their handling has been absolutely atrocious. It's the first indication there. Oh, now Kevin McGuinness is in the number 20. <laughs> I think this is where West now, now been behind on the scoreboard by 28 points to 40. They need to spread the ball just a little bit earlier instead of just going one up off the ruck. Rainy. North are just really just waiting for them. Gets inside North's territory by a few metres. Steve Georgialis goes to the line, looks for support on the inside and finds Travis Baker. He pushed away from the first tackle of Larson. Inside it goes to Donovan. He'll score. Daryl Fisher will get the ball down. That's a try. Fisher scores the try, and again it was Travis Baker who's done some excellent work in this game in attack. Oh, tremendous try there by the Western Suburbs. So as we said, they have to throw the ball as, as much as possible. It was all started by their 5'8", Steve Jordalis running across the field. Look at, he pulls out Jason Taylor, and Davis comes back inside there. Baker, I should say. But what about the strength of the man to get the ball away? Eichert really didn't go for the tackle. and gets the ball out to the young winger and Daryl Fisher. Goes over a second, tremendous break for the Western Suburbs side. It's all about this low tackle in the front line, isn't it? Jason Taylor forced to go low with the distance he had. A great inside ball there, but uh, as you say, a poor tackle from Mickey Butin. It just palmed off a great pass inside from Travis Baker. And once again, that little Kiwi flyer is there. In traffic, Billy Moore wasn't able to unload. The tackle eventually made by Nick Edwards. Now to Larson. Larson straight ahead and gets to eight metres from the line. So looking for a runner. That runner is Morrison. Glenn Morrison going for the line. He's very close. Held on to only about a metre short. Dived down by Mark Soden from dummy half. He dived under all of the magpies. It is Mark Soden. It certainly is. The little fella coming up from dummy half with the try that has put the game beyond doubt. And doesn't that man feel relieved? Peter Louie. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, the Western Suburbs side is blowing up because they think that Glenn Morrison... He's got up to play the ball, and Soden has used him as a shepherd. Now watch him to see if he goes through Glenn Morrison's feet. Now watch him. Morrison will start walking forward. There. I think that might be a shepherd. He's actually gone in between his feet. Here's the good run. Turns the ball back inside to Morrison. Not too sure how Peter Mulholland did see this, but for me, yep. I thought that could have been a shepherd. I think you're pretty right, Gary. The head watch on this. Be, it's a nice and slow one here. He's going to be As it goes straight now. through now. I'm sure oh, that's a shepherd. shepherd too, that's Gary. a dead set yep. shepherd. And they had plenty to complain about the Western Suburbs side. Yep. John McCoy. What's he expecting with Peter Mulholland? With me, boys, is uh, David Fairley. Congratulations, Dave, on your own game. But again, I mean, we say it each week now when you're playing sides below you on the ladder, you seem to go to sleep. Well, we say it too, Peter. Um, mate, we've done that much talking uh, the last 
you know, fortnight when it's happened and uh, it happened again today and it was just like a, a bad dream. We, um, we spoke about it, we thought we did everything right and it happened again. So it is a serious problem for us and um, until we can fix it, it's... Um, it's, it's really going to uh, affect our semi-final chances. It is a matter of just uh, making the little things, the grinding away things that you win the hard matches with, uh, you know, which you can do against the top sides, back into these lower lower games. It is a problem um, we've had for a long time. Uh, you know, while I've been at Norse, is that we we sort of we start well against the lesser sides, uh, and we get a few points on the board, and we just lapse in concentration. And Peter Louis um, said that basically um, at half time, it's a real test for us for our concentration and um, we come out the second half and we proved that we, you know, we went to sleep again so um, it's just a big problem. Alright mate, well on, on stuff from NEC, congratulations on your own performance and uh, all the best for next week. Thanks very much to NEC and uh, look forward to next week. Thanks mate. Back up to